Eight Maryland first responders killed in the line of duty were honored this afternoon at the annual Fallen Heroes Day. Among them, a pair of city firefighters killed back in October, battling a series of homes on fire in northwest Baltimore. Our Paul Gessler reports from Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens now on what is certainly the beginning of an emotional weekend for many families. They came from all over Maryland. They lived a life with purpose and intention. Mark R. Fisher Jr. Brian P. Hamilton. Henry W. Eckhart Jr. Heroes to us. Craig E. Ralston. Scott C. McCardle. Family to those under this tent. Bryce C. Trosback. Rodney W. Pitts III. Dylan J. Ronaldo. Among the heroes honored Friday, firefighter EMT Rodney Pitts III and Captain Dylan Ronaldo killed fighting a fire on Linden Heights Avenue in October. Numb. I was numb. Pitt's mother spoke with WJZ ahead of the ceremony. She says she visits his burial site multiple times a week. He's like, Ma, you're strong. You got this. Like, we in this together. Like, he still, like, I can still feel in the time, like, we in this together. He would have been very proud to be honored as a firefighting hero. It was his dream. Lauren Ridlon was Captain Ronaldo's fiance. It is extremely important to my family and to Dylan's family that um, we honor Dylan in every way possible. Each family is given a replica of the Fallen Heroes Memorial. Dozens of city firefighters showed up in force to support their fallen brothers. They have not left our side since October 19th, and I know they've been doing the same for Firefighter Pitts' family as well. A lot of people called him larger than life, but he was very quiet and he was very observant and he was was truly happiest once everyone else around him was happy. That's all he wanted. While they may no longer walk amongst us, they lived through each of us. Ronaldo, Pitts, and 135 others will be honored this weekend in Emmitsburg, Maryland for the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial Service. Reporting in Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.